So I've already pressed it, you just have to point it. Point and, it. and whatever happens, I'm gonna think, fuck yeah, this guy's videoing me. It's amazing, <laughs> superb. Um, the, uh, over the weekend, there's the... Uh, <laughs> no, don't video yourself! <laughs> <laughs> Is the, yeah, that got me on video, yeah. um, is the G20 summit, um, and, and Vladimir Putin, poor guy, had to go home early. He had, he had a note from his mom, or something, a note from Mother Russia. Vladimir, all the other countries have been nasty to Mr. Vladimir. <laughs> He's got to go, he doesn't have to do PE this year. Um, the whole G20 thing cost something like 400 million Australian dollars, which is a lot of money, even in Australian dollars. <laughs> um, and all these people, they're meant to be powerful and clever and smart and shit like that. And I have one word for the leaders of the free world, Skype. Save us lots and lots of money for Skype. Big foot, or something like that. Imagine what else they're wasting. Um, but yeah, Vladimir Putin had to go home early. And <laughs> Because he had to get some sleep so that he could be at work on Monday. Which, you know, surely you're in charge. You're the boss. It's like, you don't have to, uh, I'm going to be late. I'm going to be late. You're the boss. We don't care. <laughs> We're entirely frightened of you. <laughs> but um, I do have the solution for poor, weak, enfeebled Mr. Putin. And apparently it's sounding like this. Uh, this is a power stand. And apparently it gets the testosterone going. It makes you feel more confident, and, and presumably the more you do it, the more confident you feel. I'm not really fucking confident. Um, if a velociraptor came in to this room right now after, you know, scrambling with the door, we've all seen Jurassic Park, you know, it can happen. They came in now, I would save you all, save you all quite easily. I would. I had to take that Velociraptor down. I would take it down to the bar. I said, Velociraptor, let's go to the bar. They're like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> we get to the bar. And I'd say, well, skip this. Let's go straight to spirits. So they'd be like, ah, 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 ah. And then I'd go, tequila then. And they'd go, ah, ah, all right. And then we'd drink, oh, I'd stay like this. I'd have to walk to the bar like this. And just, it's very challenging. Um, <laughs> agony, what I do for comedy. Um, and then we'd get, then I'd get this Velociraptor drunk, and everyone knows Velociraptors can't hold their tequila, and get drunk, and then I'd take pictures of it, um, with makeup on its face, we'd make it up, it'd be brilliant. And uh, then post it on Facebook, it would come around, be super embarrassed, and run away into the night, and you'd all be saved from the Velociraptor. Um, I don't, I don't normally condone putting makeup on animals and getting them drunk. Either way around, I don't condone that. Um, unless it's televised, of course, everything's fine if you televise it. If you can make money out of it, it's fine. That's the capitalist way. Um, oh, I've got to get out of this position now. I'm not actually very confident that Peter will get out of this position. Your jeans are like, come to my Oh, oh, what <laughs> When I, when I was younger, I had proper vices, like sex, and drugs, and you know, all-night sessions playing Dungeons and Dragons. Um, dog ball. That fantasy shit is cool these days. Game of Thrones says so. The only, the only mistake we made, the only mistake we made when it like, pretended to be elves and shit, was that none of us shagged our sisters. That was that <laughs> That's not even true. <laughs> <laughs> How do you know? You are really spying on me all my life. <laughs> Just like a terrifying stalker. Um, film that man, send the evidence to the police. Um, <laughs> no, Game of Thrones, incest. Where am I? I don't know. I have no idea. Yes, we should be more creative with our uh, use of animals, not just eating them and riding them. Um, <laughs> I have an idea for a charity, which is going to make me loads of money. Well, it wouldn't be one for the fact it's a charity. I'll call it um, Biting Dogs for the Terminally Stupid. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a bunch of dogs and I'm going to train them 
to bite people when they're being idiots. So, you know, <laughs> make a bad decision, dog bites you. Soon stop doing that. It'll be amazing. It'll be amazing. I'll make a fortune out of it. All right wing voters uh, will have a very bad time on polling day. They literally won't have a leg to stand on. <laughs> out of the dogs, we trying to make them see sense. The whole thing coming out of the polling booth like this. <laughs> That's a horrible thought. Uh, speaking of mobility issues, though. Um, <laughs> We should, some of you may not have experienced this, but I can tell you that, that all the current solutions for wheelchairs, like pushing wheelchairs around or electricity are shit. Um, and we should train monkeys to drag them around and maybe carry them. They'll carry you upstairs, it's brilliant. It's not all monkeys carrying upstairs. And the reason I say this is because <clears throat> when I was a kid, I had the enormous good fortune of having a friend who was in a wheelchair. My fortune, not his. It's brilliant. It was like we had a go kart all the time. We lived at the top of the hill, so whenever we had to go to a friend's house down the bottom of the hill, we'd just uh, whiz down. Uh, we never actually let me sit in the wheelchair. Uh, people in wheelchairs are quite selfish. Like, uh, <laughs> you know, so we had pegs on the back, so we used to stand on the back and we'd go whizzing down. And one day, um, we were crossing the road, and this, this car was coming quite quickly towards us, and I thought, um, oh, I can definitely make it, even though the car was very bad us. So I pushed him across the road as fast as I could, and you've got to pull wheelchairs up the curbs backwards. So I kind of turned it as we were going, and the, all the forces contrived to kind of tip the wheelchair, and my friend, he might not call me a friend, kind of tipped out onto the road, into the path of the speeding car. Um, but what the driver didn't know, what you guys don't know, if you're thinking I'm the worst friend in the world, 